Okay, today we're gonna paint this deep diver. These are my favorite deep divers too. They come from Netcraft. They don't ever try to send me nothing for free, so I ain't trying to advertise. But yeah, they come from Netcraft. They're the best too. Out of all the deep divers, they're real nice and strong. They thick. This is how they come. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping if I remember, I'm going to try to do this macro pattern on here. I hope I ain't forgot the colors. I think it's Caribbean blue and just a regular or whatever the hell that color was. I don't know. I know a little pink, white on the bottom. It's a problem. I paint and, um, you know, just try to paint, come up with patterns and stuff like that. And then I just keep going on because I got so many patterns that I want to do. I paint, I want to say, two or three times a week. I try to paint something if I got free time. Any little free time I got and a girlfriend's not around, I'm in here trying to make a pattern. Because I have so many patterns that just keep popping up in my brain. I just want to put them on something. So, yeah. So, hopefully I ain't forgot this one. Because I do forget. I paint it one day and then start painting three or four other patterns and then just forget exactly what I did. So it's just been a while. I did this about a month ago, I think. It's been a while. All right, so I'm hoping I remember. If I don't, what the hell? You get to see. That's just cool little pattern. I'm going to put that on this. I even foiled so I could put some candy on these. And then I got some feathers i like to do my own i'm not good at it but it works oh and this is the main reason why i'm making this video today so we can open up the package blind symmetry sent me i went to my p.o box and um uh, yeah he sent me something he didn't even tell me so yeah i'm gonna open it up and see what's inside all right let's go over here and get the colors together and uh i'll set you up so we can open this package paints we will be using today you know, I always do my sterling silver if you know my channel I always do sterling silver because I think it looks the best me personally there's my own personal opinion when you're trying to match chrome that's what I'm using pretty cool color Just bring it close up. How about that? Candy. Candy paint. Candy is the way to go. Candy, candy, candy. I should call out your dad. I should start just naming myself the candy man. Yes, sir. You use candy. You use candy. It's all candy paints. If you use candy and you say, 
Big bass, no whammies. Big bass, no whammies. Big bass, no whammies. Three times, you'll catch bass. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will catch bass. The stencil I'm using. The folk art. Yeah, these are the, this is the way I'm doing it too. All right, gonna try to put that pattern on here. Hopefully, I got the right colors. Everything's the way it's supposed to go. If it's not, hey, at least it'd be a cool little pattern you could try at home. All right, let's have some fun now. All right, now let's have some fun. Let's get the painting now. All right, off camera, I already did the sterling silver on top. As you can see, you don't see no more lines. I did it on the bottom. Probably easy if I just take it off to show you. See how that it just looks like it's all in one. Yeah, I did it real fast off camera. But yeah, you know how to do a sterling silver now. Just cover up the lines. Any little imperfection lines that you don't like, put sterling silver on top of it, and you're ready to go. First color is going to be Whatever the hell, how you say this color. But yeah, this is the color we're using. <laughs> and yeah. So we're going to do it right here. Just a lateral line. Go right across the line. All the way across. To the eye. You don't want to go too high up because all that's going to be candy. All this up here is going to be candy. So leave that alone. So you just want this right here. Right across there. All the way across, even under the eyeballs. Leave all this, because it's the white that's going to go under here. But you want to leave a gap. You want to leave a gap of silver on the bottom. Because it's going to be white, silver, then this, whatever aqua green color it is. And then the blue. And then we finish. Well, I'm sorry. Then the black. Then we finish. All right. I'm enough explaining. Let's get the painting. Now, this is going to be my first color. All right. I got that bluish green loaded up in the gun. Hope you guys don't mind that compressor and uh, fans. I can't talk, man. Don't mind me. Remember, just keep it on the line. I'll be back. I'm going to do a couple passes. I'll be right back when I'm done. All done with that bluish green. You hear the lawnmower people out there cutting grass. City out here cutting grass doing something out here. Now we're going to do the white. We're going to turn it upside down. And hold on one second. Let me I close this window. All right, I turned it around. Oh, a lot more skin on my nerves, I tell you. Now we're just going to do the white on the bottom. Now you want to leave a little gap. You want to leave some of that silver. Don't cover that silver up. Just do the, the bottom and under the face, right under the gill. The top of the gill part. On the bottom, leave this silver right here. Leave all that open. Don't cover that. Just do the bottom. Like they say in Jersey, do the bottom.
that's the first coat of that white just put it right there under the right under the gills yeah boy now the next color is gonna be pearl white pearl white just gonna go over top of the white and that's it pearl white is gonna go right over top of the white like i said leave that chrome right there yeah leave that boy right there oh yeah oh yeah that's perfect it's pearl white right over top and that's it i'll be back let me load the pearl white up a little bit bingo bango That's all I'm gonna do with the pearl white. One pass gives it that nice shine. Man, I can't wait till I can get a better camera. This bites beautiful patterns. You can't even see them. It's hard for you to see them. All right, I'm done with the white or the pearl white anyway. Now. Candy time, the candy man. All right, I like paint candy. Let me clean my airbrush out. Turn the around. Candy time, I'll be back. Next color is gonna be the pink. Pink's real light, just under the gill. Maybe two spots under the gill, maybe a little bit under the face on both sides, and that's it for the pink real fast. Pink's already loaded up in the gun, ready to go. Homemade stencil. Heat set that. I'll be right back. All right, the pink is all done. We bring in the blue. Real light. Uh oh, I hit the, the camera. Real light. I don't know if you can see it because my camera be butt. My patterns be good. My camera work is butt. <laughs> yeah, man, I tell you. I'm terrible when it comes to doing videos, but my my patterns are on the money. You're gonna catch fish. Use my pattern. Alright, time for the blue candy now. Candy time. Candy's just gonna go on top. Just on top. You don't wanna go past that little blue. Don't go past the blue. Everything on top.
Now you see I'm turning it sideways, that's to fade it in. I gotta fade it in a little better, but yeah, you wanna turn it sideways. To fade it in, turn it sideways. Turn it sideways, you get a really nice fade. That's one pass. Oh, I hit the phone. I'm going to do about maybe six passes to get that real nice dark blue color I'm looking for. All right, I'll be back when I'm done. Right, we are back. Only thing we have to do now is... Grab a stencil, grab the black. I already have from the last time I used it. It's already marked out, taped off parts that I want. And just go from here all the way back. Don't go under the blue. Just from there across. And that's it. And then you're all done. And then on top, too, all over the top. Wherever you want, however pattern you want, it does not matter. Just make it the way you like it. Black is the last color. And we'll be all done.
this is all I'm going to show you on camera. The rest I'm going to do off camera. Hear the lawnmower outside. City coming out here and doing their work. But yeah, I'm going to finish the rest off camera. This way, this video will be real short. I'll be back. Uh -oh. All right, these are the eyes I am going to be using today. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, these are the ones I'm going to be putting on. So, I'll be back when I'm... All done. right, we are back and we are all done. Let me shut that. There we go. Got the eyes in. Could have probably went with one size bigger eye, maybe. Yeah, do some light. This so looks like some in the inside, some on the outside. But yeah, she's ready to go. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. All right, time to dip, put in the UV, and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, we are back. All done, ready to go. I'm going to call it the Holy Mackerel. Holy Mackerel. Holy Mackerel, Hernandez. Oh, yeah, Holy Mackerel. Yeah, it's pretty. That blue is beautiful, man, I tell you. Nice little mackerel pattern. It's going to my Puerto Rico. I'm going to Puerto Rico. I'm starting to, uh, I'm, the way I'm finding out, I'm not doing any freshwater fish. It's all going to be all salt water. So I'm trying to tie. I'm going to make a little quick video later on. I'll show you these stuff that I painted and tied up and getting ready to take with me to Puerto Rico. I'm going to make a little short video. So, yeah. This is uh, one of the pieces, one of my Puerto Rico pieces. Hopefully it catches me something. But yeah, it's all done, ready to go. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. My name is Rick, and I'm out.